Hello friends, my name is Bryn, welcome back to my channel. Here on Bryn Darcy, I talk about life and study at the Australian National University uh, here in Canberra, obviously in Australia, and what your life could be like if you studied here as well. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my Spanish studies. I know that this is not uh, something that I usually talk about, but I thought that you guys might like to know how I'm studying Spanish and some of the things that I've found that are really useful uh, if you are wanting to study. This video is going to be broken into three parts. First of all, I'm going to be talking about why I'm learning Spanish. Secondly, I'm going to be talking about how I learned Spanish before, uh, before this period in my life. And now I'm going to be talking about what I am doing now to learn Spanish uh, over the next few months. So without further ado, uh, let's get onto the video. I suppose, first of all, I should say that I've always been interested in Spain because my family uh, originally is from Spain. So I've always been interested in the area, but as many of you know, Louis, my partner, he is Spanish and uh, obviously his friends and family, they all speak in Spanish. So it makes sense for me to learn Spanish in order to communicate with them as well. So I suppose those are the two major reasons why I am learning Spanish. One is just personal interest uh, and two, to communicate with my uh, friends and family who live in Spain. So moving on, I'm going to discuss how I learned Spanish before. Now, before this time in my life, I have learned Spanish properly twice uh, and just like listening uh, all the time, I suppose. Um, Basically, before this, I attended a language class when I lived in London. It was an A1 Spanish class. Because of the way that the course was structured, um, it was like A1.1, which is just how to say the alphabet and numbers and dates, which I could already say and I didn't realise at the time that that was the class I was joining. So, um, yeah, that wasn't ideal. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on this class that wasn't necessarily the best class for me to attend at the time. Um, and after that, I have also studied at the university, uh, at the Australian National University, obviously. I have studied one uh, Spanish course that was Span 1002, I want to say. It was A2 Spanish. Anyway, basically, those are the two formal classes that I've studied Spanish in. Apart from that, I have read a bit in Spanish. Uh, obviously, I listen to Lewis all the time, so I can understand a lot of Spanish. Um, my understanding of Spanish is generally a lot higher than my speaking ability because I'm so super nervous when I speak. Um, but obviously when you're listening in the background to YouTube videos and the radio and the television and stuff, obviously your listening ability gets a lot better. Okay, so in this part of the video, I'm going to chat with you about what I'm doing right now to improve my Spanish as quickly as possible. And I have... I have eight things that I'm doing or using uh, to improve my Spanish. So first of all is the obvious, uh, and that is textbooks. So I have these three Spanish textbooks that I use regularly at home. And then I also have a Spanish textbook that I use with my classes online, but that's a different textbook. This textbook is quite good. It's an A2 level textbook, but it goes all the way up into the start of B1, uh, which is quite useful if you are sort of between A2 and B1. Um, as well as that, I have this one, which we used for university at the ANU. I wouldn't say it's the best textbook, but I also wouldn't say it's the worst. Um, I have this A1 one, but I'm not really using that anymore. That was from when I was at the language course in the UK. And then I also have this grammar book, which is possibly the worst book ever made. I wouldn't recommend buying this book. There is no explanation in it. Uh, there's some exercises. The explanation that does exist is incredibly poor. So I wouldn't suggest buying this as your, as like a standalone textbook. Maybe you can buy it uh, and do the exercises as part of like in conjunction with another textbook, but I wouldn't buy it as a standalone thing. If I had to recommend one textbook, it would be this textbook. Uh, I think that this is probably the most well-rounded textbook. It has the best exercises. It has good explanations. It has short tests for you to do to test your ability. 
Uh, it's got like grammar in the back of it and everything. So I think that if I had to choose one, this would probably be the one I chose. I don't know where they sell it in Australia. I bought it in the UK, uh, but I will try and put a link below and if I can find it uh, so you guys can buy it if you're interested as well. The second thing I'm doing is taking Spanish classes. So at the moment I am studying with AIL Madrid uh, and they do Spanish classes online. The time difference is a bit difficult here, but apart from that, uh, the classes have been really good so far. We do it only in Spanish, so there's no English speaking, which is daunting in a way, but also very useful because that's how you improve uh, is by speaking, speaking, speaking. So uh, that is... So I would say that those classes are good if you're looking to do a Spanish class online. They also have them in Madrid and Malaga um, as well if you are interested in doing them in person and going to Spain to study Spanish. The thing I'm doing is watching YouTube videos. Now in the past I found it really difficult to find YouTubers who I enjoy watching, like the type of content that I enjoy watching in Spanish. So I'm trying to look for like more vlog type content like Elena Tabor type content but in Spanish uh, or even like Zoella type content just like those relaxed vlogs where people speak about everyday things and you don't actually have to like I don't know they're not I don't know how to describe it, but they're just very relaxing very homely kind of uh, videos and those are the kind of videos I wanted to watch didn't know anyone uh, I've recently found a couple of channels that are helping me learn Spanish <laughs> I think that reading books in Spanish and English can be really useful for people, especially if uh, you can find a copy of a book that you really enjoy reading. Um, for me, I want to try and read Anne of Green Gables because I love Anne of Green Gables, the book, and I think that it would be really good to read it in Spanish. But also there is this book and it's called Short Stories in Spanish, I think. Um, and it is a really good book if you are looking to read some intermediate stories in your second language. They also have them in a whole bunch of other languages as well. Also listening to music in Spanish because immersing yourself in the language is so important and obviously uh, living in Australia we don't necessarily have Spanish speakers around us all the time so listening to music can be another great way to boost your language, abil language ability. In the same vein, I am watching podcasts as well. Watching, listening to podcasts. I'm listening to podcasts as well. Um, and here are some of the podcasts that I listen to. I often listen to Lewis's podcast in the background as well. So those are some of the podcasts that I hear as well. I am also journaling and I'm trying to write a short paragraph every day about what I'm doing, uh, a global issue, something just an A5 sized page kind of uh, handwritten just about whatever to try and improve my writing ability because I think that writing things down all the time is very important obviously I'm in a bit of a lucky position because I have someone who can critique that but if you wanted to get a tutor on italki or if you know someone who shares the language that you want to learn you could definitely get them to correct your work as well. Finally, probably the most obvious thing for me to do is to get Lewis to help me learning, is to get Lewis to help me to speak Spanish more. I'm very shy with my Spanish speaking, so uh, sort of getting out of my comfort zone and speaking Spanish at least as often as I can uh, is a really good way for me to improve and possibly the only way I'm going to improve. Otherwise, next time we go to Spain, I'm going to arrive and not be able to talk to anyone for a few months. Um, so yeah, I'm trying my best to improve my speaking there. I should say I have, I am currently a, I'm currently B1 level Spanish, but I'm doing an A2 course 
uh, because in my honest opinion, the A2 course at the ANU was not that useful for me uh, and I really needed to relearn basically everything that was in that class. So yeah, I, I'm now in a uh, A2 class moving on to B2, moving on to B1, sorry, at the start of next month. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you found out a little bit about how I'm learning to speak Spanish. You guys can definitely do something similar with any of the languages that you are interested in learning. Obviously the resources that I've provided are just for Spanish, but there is, uh, but these are definitely ways to improve your language ability for any language. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you on Sunday. Bye.